Good morning, everybody. I'm Commissioner Ray Sandelli, the Vice Chair, and I'm here with uh, my fellow Chairman uh, Kevin Bruin, Brian Hammond, uh, Mike from Red Sox, Greenwell, and our, our uh, County Manager. Um, things continue to change all the time, and um, we want to make sure that we give you the latest update. Uh, this thing is fluid in nature. Uh, we want to make sure you're updated. There's some changes as far as evacuation. We want to communicate that as quickly as possible, and with that, I'll uh, have uh, Roger DeLose, our County Manager, follow on. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. The, um, as you all uh, probably know, we issued evacuation orders for Zone A and part of Zone B earlier today, um, and that part of Zone B was in Cape Coral, south of Veterans Parkway. We are uh, modifying the, um, the evacuation uh, plan and ordering evacuation for all of Zone A and all of Zone B. That is based on uh, the recent communication with the National Weather Service. Uh, the storm uh, forecast uh, track has changed a little bit and uh, is likely to make landfall a little bit farther south than earlier, uh, than earlier projections, which takes it from Tampa to uh, somewhere in Manatee County. As a result, we in Lee County and, and Charlotte County are very likely going to feel uh, the greater effects uh, in the storm surge projections. We were projecting uh, uh, storm surges between uh, six and nine feet. Uh, the projections now uh, are between five and 10 feet. The, uh, you can find those maps uh, on our website to show you exactly what that means and you could also um, take uh, the time to make sure you understand where you are in relation to those evacuation zones. Because of the change in the forecast track, there is also now about a 25% chance of Lee County experiencing hurricane force winds. Uh, United Way is preparing to open the emergency uh, information line that uh, uh, actually that should have had, yeah, that'll happen at 9 a.m. And the uh, residents can call uh, 211 to get all the information that you need um, on the evacuation uh, orders. Zone A, Zone B, um, where you should travel and, and, and when you should travel. Um, our website is uh, at legov.com is being updated every, every hour or so, so be sure and uh, check you know, the Lee County website for the latest information. Also pay close attention to uh, the local television stations who are broadcasting uh, all of this information as well. Um, so once again, there's a change in the forecast track. That information comes to us from the National Weather Service. And as you might expect, this storm is, um, is not behaving exactly uh, the way it originally predicted. And that's sort of the, that's the nature of the beast. So the projection is for the storm to make its way inland somewhere around Manatee County. That is, of course, subject to change, but we will keep you updated with all of the latest information. The uh, order uh, for evacuation is Zone A and Zone B. You can call uh, uh, 211 to get the latest information on, on the evacuation details, and you can go to the Lee County website at leegov.com for that information as well. Thank you all very much. We're still open. Oh, uh, yes. I'll, uh, I was just reminded that uh, we we opened ten shelters this morning based on the uh, the the early evacuation uh, notice. Uh, we'll be opening an additional five, and so you can find that information again uh, at uh, legov.com. We good? All right. 